Just like every major thing that is prominent in entertainment right now, whether it's a legacy medium, whether it's something that's come out recently, it is under attack by these woke lunatics that want to take it and turn it into something else. And Lord of the Rings is no different, just like Star Trek, just like Star Wars, just like comic books. The people that are now in charge of these properties don't actually care about the legacy. All they care about is turning it into something else. And the media is trying to help enable that. And this tweet right here is a great example. GameSpot, one of the commonly cited issues with Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings series from the early 2000s is its lack of diversity. But it looks like that's about to change. And then they share a graphic with their GameSpot news here. Lord of the Rings TV show actor says it will be multicultural, diverse, and feature strong female characters. And we're going to talk a little bit about that because actor Lenny Henry did indeed confirm that radical changes will be coming in Amazon's Lord of the Rings series, just like we have all feared from the very beginning. And Lord of the Rings is constantly under attack by the woke crowd because it was written decades and decades ago, and it was based on a certain mythology. It's kind of mythology for the people of England. It's kind of what it is. So the fact that it's not as diverse and representative as they want current day stories to be shouldn't really be a fucking surprise to anyone. So it is constantly under attack. They're trying to basically destroy the legacy of J.R. Tolkien by calling him a racist, by calling him this, by calling him that, and wanting to make his work better for modern times. Well, GameSpot rightfully got absolutely destroyed for this. You could see, look at the quote tweets to the likes right now. It's essentially getting ratioed. Look at some of the replies to this. Here's Steph right here. So the focus is on diversity and representation over phenomenal storytelling. I'll stick with the movie. Thanks. Uh, Hilver's Babyface. No, it wasn't. That's a complete lie. Your 2021 is showing. Gary. Common criticisms repeatedly made by few who never liked the story in the first place. Uh, and then the quartering. Yep, no strong women. Of course, we got Eowyn right here, right? Like the very idea, right? The very idea that this is how you talk about it. It's going to feature strong female characters. Eowyn, you want to talk about a strong female character? You've clearly never fucking watched the movies. I would actually hazard a guess if... If this series came out right now, there would be some people that like looked at Awen, like called her a Mary Sue and stuff, because that's that's kind of how sensitive we are to this kind of thing in current day modern culture with this woke nonsense. But I mean, no, she is a great female character. She is a strong female character. You've got Galadriel, you've got Arwen. You have these characters from this series that are beloved by so many people, but it's never enough for them. They're constantly wanting to change everything that happened before. And that takes us to this Bounding in the Comics article. Lenny Henry confirms radical changes to Hobbits in Amazon's Lord of the Rings series. These changes were rumored back in July when Cliff Broadway reported that Henry would be playing a type of Hobbit known as a Harfoot. Broadway stated, Sir Lenny, Lenry Henry, Lenny Henry portrays one such early halfling Harfoot. Henry confirmed this rumor and announced he will be playing a black Hobbit as part of the Harfoot tribe in an interview with BBC. Not only did he reveal he's playing a black hobbit, but he also claims the show will portray hobbits as multicultural, which we're going to get into the actual uh, the actual lore that Tolkien laid out, and that doesn't really make any fucking sense. In fact, it goes against everything that Tolkien had laid out previously. But that's what this series is all about. Desecrating the legacy of J.R. Tolkien. He told the program, for the last two years, I've been working on Lord of the Rings, and it's an extraordinary thing. It's the biggest, I think it's the biggest television show that has ever been made in terms of money and headcount. Literally, a hundred people on set glaring at you, trying to work out what you'll look like four feet tall. It's been an amazing experience, life-changing for me. I'm a Harfoot because J.R. Tolkien, who was from Birmingham, suddenly there were Black Hobbits. I'm a Black Hobbit. It's brilliant. And what's notable about this run of the book, it's a prequel to the age that we've seen in the films and the books. It's about the early days of the Shire and Tolkien's environment in the early days. So we're an indigenous population of Harfoots. We're hobbits, but we're called Harfoots and we're multicultural. We're a tribe. We're not a race. So there are black, Asian, brown, and even Maori types within it. 
he goes on and on and on talking about the strong female presence like we talked about before. Well, luckily for us, Bounding Into Comics has actually done some looking as to what these different types of hobbits would have been. Tolkien mentions the Harfoots in the prologue of the Fellowship of the Ring, writing, Before the crossing of the mountains, the hobbits already become divided into three somewhat different breeds, Harfoots, Stores, and Falahides. He went on to describe, and this is the thing, like if you had wanted to do this, there is a way to do it, Without being like, oh, multiculturalism. Oh, there's all these different types of habits all living together. Because Tolkien lays it out. Look at this. The Harfoots were browner of skin. Smaller and shorter. They were beardless and bootless. Their hands and feet were neat and nimble. They preferred highlands and hillsides. That could have been your diversity that you were looking for. But instead, you made it completely multicultural. You changed Tolkien's legacy and his lore. And the stores, says the stores were broader, heavier in build. Their feet and hands were larger. They preferred fat land, flatlands and riversides. And as for the Falahides, the Falahides were fair of skin and hair, and they were taller, slimmer than the others. They were lovers of trees and woodlands, right? So as for whether there are black hobbits, Tolkien does not describe any hobbits as black. But instead, what they described, decided to do, they took the Harfoots, which were described a certain way, and they have now made them completely multicultural to go with their agenda. This is not going to work for you. This is not going to work. Taking something that is beloved by so many people and bastardizing it never works out. Because guess what? The reason people care about this is because they like it the way it is. They like these stories the way that they are. And by going out with the sole intention to change them for identity politics, you will fail. Amazon, Lord of the Rings, go fuck yourselves. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.